Hi guys, it's Evil Jizza, and today I'm bringing you a one versus one. This isn't a lot of commentary as uh, when I do get to play a lot of Rome Total War for most of the day, I uh, don't record every single battle due to hard disks, so I'd save recordings of some of the good battles. It's only during the week I have live battles, I do live battles, so um, yeah, I'll save this one. See, uh, one versus one, SBQR versus Julia in the uh, grassy flatlands map. I'm commanding the Purple Romans. I've got three legionary cohorts here, they're not upgraded. Unfortunately, I've got uh, four archers, uh, four Roman archers, these are all upgraded. You can see there. And my Praetorians, they're the most heavily upgraded here, I've got four of them. So, as you tell, the Praetorian cavalry is my main strength for this battle. And, my, and the archers as well, my infantry. I plan for this battle to have my infantry as like the holding troops to hold the enemy whilst my cavalry to do the damage. So as you can see here my enemy's got three units of Roman archers. Uh just, couple, just slightly upgraded. He's got a unit of Terrarii, two units of Terrarii. I think they're like silver bronze. And he's got one, two, three units of urban cohorts fully upgraded. He's got Praetorian Cavalry for them, but they are not upgraded. So, I have the Cavalry Advantage, Archer Advantage, but he has the Infantry Advantage. And, you could say he's got the Anti-Cav Advantage, because, oh well. So, my guy opens up the firing with Fire Arrows. No idea what these were doing now. I respond with normal volleys at this centre of mass here. I send out uh, two units of Praetorians to uh, scare off his archers here and just see how my opponent would react. He backs off, I back away because I don't want to get too close to his infantry. I put my cavalry back to their original places, or at least attempt to. Took a couple of losses there, unfortunately. So what happens when you need to concentrate. So at the moment, while this is all going on, he's forming up on my right flank with two Praetorians and Trio. I've, already, I've opened fire on these Praetorians, my uh, archer there, as they're vulnerable. And here comes his Urbans. Now, this is going to really suck for my infantry because the fact is now, his Urbans are just going to cut through my infantry I can't knife through butter and I can't support my infantry with my cavalry reach like I plan to due to his cavalry and Terraria on the flanks. So just for now, I'm using my archers for now. But yeah, we'll see how that happens. I'm moving up with my cavalry here. Standing off. Same on the other side. I'm moving my archers here behind his Behind is the uh, urbans. There we go now. I charge at his archers. He responds. I quickly turn around and charge his cavalry. Then comes Terrarii. Do the same on the other side as well as you tell here. I routed a unit of Praetorian cavalry. And he's got his Terrarii coming in there. Same there. But. I, let, I neglected this side of the field for a bit. I wasn't concentrated, I was focusing on that side that neglected it, unfortunately. And I can tell you, his urbans are currently winning the battle. I'm trying to help him. I do a rear charge here. Unfortunately, they don't break. On my left flank of my infantry, they break, and now his urbans are starting to surround my men there. I, I retaliate this with more cavalry coming in. Yeah, close up in the action here. That's my general unit there. Go through to Ario like a bus. So got some of my legionaries that came back from routing and same with my archers. Just 
just like hacking down some of his uh, men while I uh, quickly put him out before we spin him in. So for me, this battle, this was the hardest point part. It was avoiding his spearmen and my cavalry because he kept him close to his cavalry and to his infantry at all times. So I'll for the most part, this battle he was in control. As you can tell, it's purple. Yeah. Back here. I'm tr I'm re rallying my troops here, regrouping. There's the other skirmish with the um, cavalry on the way back. So uh, all I got left here is archers. There, yeah. I still got my four units of archers, and I've got two units of cav, Praetorian cav. Oh, three units of Praetorian Cav, sorry. Oh, because my infantry are running again, unfortunately. See, now he breaks off his cavalry to go after mine. All this time, I'm focusing on his, and I made a mistake of leaving my archers in the open there. But it's still easy shots, and. Unfortunately, those two try and get away. Back over here, as you can see, I've got my Praetorian Cav circling around, but he's setting up a defensive position with his infantry, with his two units of Triarii, and he's still got his three urbans left. But he leaves some cavalry archers unguarded, and I managed to get in there and rout them. This is what's left of the battlefield so far. I've got the archery and cavalry advantage. So while I've got the archers, I'm just firing on the backs of his men here. Where I can shoot it, I've got them surrounded at all sides. So there's always a place where I can hit them at. I've got my cavalry all together there. Just, just getting their attention here. He's still got a unit of archers, 18 of them. I'm moving my, um, you can see I'm moving my archers around now to get to his side. Like from this angle here, as you can tell, I'm getting the backs of his urbans, and again from this side, back of Triario. So here I'm shooting at some of his Triario here. My cavalry is out of the. Um so, this guy, this missile unit over here is aiming at the back of the urbans. This one over here should be aiming at the Triarii. Or maybe they're aiming at the urbans. This one's definitely aiming at the Triarii uh, triari here. He's attempted to counter my archer fire, but it ain't gonna happen anything because they're dropping like flies as well in the crossfire as I'm like, trying to aim for his infantry. They're getting hit. See? He's dead. So it's a slaughterhouse here. He's managed to get slaughtered. I'm bringing my cavalry in again just to keep my opponent nervous of the danger. And he attempts to uh, come out, which is a big mistake as I focus now all my archers on his Terrario. So, you see here. As they're just really easy to hit now. It's made my life a lot easier. He eventually gets the message and pulls his spearman back. He's using his urbans to form a testudo from the archers, but it's pretty pointless at the moment because I'm not actually aiming for them, I'm just aiming for his. Triarii. And look now, he makes he's leaving his archers in the open again. He tries to rectify this mistake, but I get in there just in time. I pull my cavalry out the uh, meat grinder, you can say, and all this time, all of his infantry are exposed. 
Oh, got his cavalry. He's got his archers here, but they just decide to rout. His men are breaking out, but my archers know better than to get into close combat and tactically retreat. So this guy goes back to his little formation, but again is exposed. He brings out his urbans now, like some sort of sally against my cavalry, but I got horses, man. You ain't catching me. So I'm sure I down here to five men. His other Jari are here, 18 men. Just focus on these, these ones here. No, down to four now. I suppose I should have charged. Maybe that one. No, I think. And changed to his uh, Jari there. Lost one calf, took out the rest of his unit there. Leaving just one unit of spearmen, because once I can get these unit of spearmen out, I felt confident to engage. The rest of his urbans. You see, I'm relocating, relocating my archers now to get a better fix on these men. I mean, this guy could have won it. I mean, if he kept uh, like a rigged formation at the beginning, if he kept his cavalry and spearmen next to his infantry at all time. Because then I don't think I would have broke it, broken that in. So his big mistake was leaving his his uh, his, his moving his uh, cavalry and spearmen away from the infantry battle and leaving them unguarded from my cavalry and leaving his archers unprotected. So this could easily have done it. This easily could have been a different result if he would have um, just stayed. If he just kept tight in a way. So again, now I'm. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, these guys are out of uh, missiles. So I'm just getting close. I decided to fire volley of fire arrows. See how that would work, and then I don't didn't do much job. And firing at Chariot here. These guys are moving. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. I saw a gap in his um, little square thing. And I charge in. Making this urban cohort the last guy in his unit. Wow. These guys are coming out of missiles as well. So I'm down to two archer units out of missiles. It's just these guys here have got missiles left. I charge my infantry in, both sides, and now I bring in my cavalry. There's two area shaken. There's his general there. I take out my cav to come in for another charge. There comes my general to do his bit. For Rome. One of my archers is running away, but it doesn't matter. My cavalry can do the, the work. I think I'm taking some friendly fire as well. So, it's my general there. Yeah, he didn't care about fucking spears. Just take them out. So after that engagement, I got weakened my cavalry. I'm down to one archer unit, but he has no anti cavalry, he's spimming all dead now. And I'm just trying to take out this one guy. <laughs> We're under it seems to be hitting more of the urbans than. I think I'm. Oh yeah, I remember now. I was seeing if I can get out, take out his general, but I did morale loss. But these are his. I don't think these guys come back. Not sure. Well, he goes back into the studio, which I don't see what the point this was because he's getting shot from behind and their backs are still exposed. 
So these guys at the back are still in danger, but I suppose these ones at the front are safer. But and using Testudo and these guys was just useless, was it? Well, actually, no. I oh, yeah, changed their side, so yeah. Fair enough. I stand corrected. So yeah, his last unit two are broken now. And uh, being in a Testudo formation, they are weakened. I, I, find, I think they're. In, I find that being in a Testudo, puts them in a weaker, um, more prone, to more um, vulnerable. That's the word I'm looking for. So yeah, I'm getting my cavalry ready for a charge now while they're stuck in Testudo. I've got a witch formation. I've never actually used. I haven't don't use that much of witch formation. Uh, but I thought it might work, might be helpful in this case. No, wedge through, split them up, split them in two. Like a tight group there. I think that's what it's there for, not to wedge open. The, you know what I mean. <laughs> Just make sure everything's right. Uh, these guys are out of missiles as well. Get these guys running in. In come the cavalry. It's easy. Just, that's what I hope. That's what I wanted. Just split open that formation. Oh, his general just went. <laughs> At the same time, attack him out of the wedge, and while they're engaged with my archers, I just charge in from the backs, from behind. There they are. They start. It is generals running away. The only units left is that one guy there who just died. Oh, good game to my opponent, um, Dalcor. You can see he had more men than me, but my troops were better quality and upgrades. So yeah, good game, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.